Campo, Texas. It's an hour 15 from Houston. Small, small city and, you know, everybody dreams to play professional sports. And it's a matter if you want it, how much you want it, how hungry you are. And, you know, all the hard work and sacrifice that me and my mom did really paid off. Obviously, Houston's home. Um, it's something I always dreamed of playing for my hometown club. I think as a person, I try to be the best footballer that I can on the field. But, you know, off the field, I, I want to help out the community in, in any way possible. And I'm trying to do that little by little. Obviously, um, I want to help people as much as I can. Getting discovered, I had a tryout. Um, it was over 500 kids. Um, and I think at the end, I think it was a three-day camp, and at the end, they were going to pick 10 players. Luckily, I was the 10th, 10th person, so I was super excited, but I knew that I had to work hard and, you know, try to make the Dynamo Academy. At, at that point, it was a blessing to get picked 10th, but, you know, I knew that the hard work just had started, and I had to put more sacrifice and more effort into actually making the team. When I went on loan to Charleston Battery um, from the Dynamo, um, I was a young 18-year-old kid. I thought I was going to play in the second division, game in, game out. Didn't result that way. I, did, I wouldn't make the bench sometimes. Luckily, that was uh, a building point in my career. You know, I wouldn't give up. I think the environment in Dynamo Academy really, you know, prepared me to be where I'm at today in terms of development, the way they treated you, the way you got the opportunity to train with the first team in the summer. Um, I think also the Houstonian Soccer Club. Um, really helped me to be prepared for the Dynamo Academy and then it just went up from there. I think the hardest part is definitely, you know, the pressure um, from fans, from yourself, um, being consistent day in and day out in training and in games on the weekend. I try to be the best I can on the, on the pitch because everybody has a bad game, but um, you can never lack effort. Um, I think that's something that kids and young people should learn, you know, there's always going to be good days and bad days, but you can always give that 100% effort to help your team in, in any way possible to, to get a result or to help them win. I think I do feel a little bit of responsibility of, you know, becoming a homegrown and representing the city just because I, I want younger kids and the people uh, or the kids in the Dynamo Academy to, to follow my footsteps, um, potentially be better than me. Um, that's part of the culture that we want to have in the Dynamo Academy is having produce as much homegrowns as we can to the first team um, to show that we got talent. I know Houston's so diverse, um, so I know the potential is there. And obviously, they're doing a great job from the Dynamo Academy to the first team to, to the Toros. I think that's a perfect pathway for, for young kids to get exposure and, you know, hopefully making the first team.